so I've been up for a while. I passed out unknowingly again. Um, and woke up at like, what was it, like two, almost three? It was like 250 something. And realized I hadn't taken a shower, so I got up, took a shower, like, a tard. Like, I, it was literally, um, 4 a.m. when I took a shower. But I figured I needed to before my brother woke up and used the bathroom where our shower is, so. My hair is wet, as you can see, it's been washed. I'm not lying. I, I know it looks the same, <laughs> but it was washed. Um, so yeah, and now I'm just watching a show called Younger, um, it's on demand, I figured I'd, you know, I like watching new shows, I like getting into new shows, I am in love with like shows like Downton Abbey and Call the Midwives, um, or Call the Midwife. I don't remember what it, what one it is, or Bomb Girls. So if you guys know any other movies like, or not movies, TV shows like those, let me know. Um, I have a few on Netflix um, that I'm waiting to watch, like uh, North and South, I think is one of them. I, I really don't remember. I could probably turn on my tablet and figure it out. So, um... Hubby's at work, sorry. my I was all pointed weird. Um, I think, I'm trying to think of what we're going to do for dinner tonight. I think we're going to do chicken tacos. I think. I'm not completely sure on that. But, um, if not, we're doing, like, cheesy noodles and, uh, what is it called? Sloppy Joe's. Because that's pretty much all we have left until payday, which is Friday. So. My hair smells like herbal essences. Look at that. I have like really large dents in my face. Um. Open Netflix. So yeah, I'm just hanging out, watching TV, so this is my tablet. I'm opening my Netflix account now so I can see what the shows that I have waiting to watch are called. I have tons of movies, but I it, they tend to be like the same movies. Um, sorry if it's like wobbly. I'm holding it with one hand. So another show I like is Land Girls. That's a really good one. Um, but yeah, North and South. Let's see. I love Grace and Frankie. That is such a cute show. Um, but I'm waiting for the second season to come out. Whenever that'll be. So if you guys know anything that is on here that I should watch as far as TV shows go, please let me know because... Every time I look at the top picks for me, it's nothing that I would be interested in. Like, nothing. Like, once? What the hell is that? So, I'm on, like, season two, episode ten of Bomb Girls. But, yeah, I just... I have a really hard time finding new shows to watch. Anyways, so I'm just watching this show right now. It's on uh, it's a TV land, I guess. TV show. Um, oh, I got tons of notifications on here. Okay. Oops. Um. Sorry, I'm not like I'm talking right a second. I'm trying to shut down my tablet. Um, so yeah, I'm watching Younger, which is a TV land, uh, show. It's actually pretty funny. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm probably gonna go back to sleep for maybe another two hours, because I didn't get much sleep. Um, 
and I'm still a little tired. My stomach's kind of upset today, so I don't know that I'm going to be doing a whole, whole lot today. I do need to start getting this room cleaned up, though. It's just a, it's just a mess. But, anyways. Shadow! Hi, BB Shadow. We did not name her Shadow. I would have named her, like, Tigress or something. Shadow just doesn't fit her. Shadow would fit Liberty, but Liberty's already got a name. Hi, Shadow. Yes. Where's my baby? Are you my baby, Shadow? Anyway, she's going to go off, but... Yep. That's what I'm doing right now, so I will check in with you guys later. Hey, you guys. So, it's about 11, 10 right now. Um, I don't really want to smoke on these vlogs. It's just... I don't want to condone it. Um, yes, I smoke. Do I think it, that anybody should smoke? No. But right now, I'm having, like, really bad anxiety, and it's... Cigarettes do kind of sort of calm me down a little bit. Um... So, mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit about my anxiety because you will notice it in the vlogs. Um, so I've had, I've had panic attacks since 2010. Um, if you watched my vlog about my panic attacks, you know this. <sighs> Sorry. Um, I have to breathe, but, um, it's really hard, like, Especially for me, like, I'll go through bouts where I'm fine, and, you know, it's almost like as if I don't even have panic attacks. Except, like, my brain is like, you have panic attacks, you know? Um, but I don't actually have them. And then I go through periods where they're really bad. And, um, I had a few little ones, you know, the past couple of days, but today it's just, it's really hitting me really, really hard. Um, the best way I can explain it is right before I have a panic attack when I'm looking around it's it's as if I'm looking through somebody else's eyes not mine which is is really really weird way of explaining it but that's kind of how it feels to me it's like I'm looking through somebody else's eyes or like my vision becomes like not blurry just um like you know when you're driving at night and there's like halos around lights that's kind of what it feels like. Um, but there's nothing physically, you know, wrong with me. It'll go away. Um, but sometimes I just, I'm panicky, like, all day. Like, I never have a full-blown panic attack. But I'm just, it's almost like this feeling of dread is on me. Um, but I've noticed that a lot of my panic attack stems from being scared of dying. Um, not only the process of dying and, like, actually, like, dying, but, like, the thought of being dead. Like, I just, I'm scared. Like, <sighs> I don't want to die. And that's how I feel when I have panic attacks, that something's wrong and I'm going to die. And that might not be true. But, you know, that's what I'm afraid of. And it's not because, you know, I don't have faith. You know, I'm Mormon. I, I believe in God. And stuff, I just... I haven't done anything with my life. I'm only 29. I have no kids. You know. I haven't even begun to live yet. And. Like my brain is just like. And, it, and it's horrible because it's your brain and there's nothing you can do about it. There's, there's, no, there's no way to stop it from thinking. You know, that's why we live. That's that's how we breathe. Our brain just automatically does it for us. So, when your brain starts thinking things that you don't want it to think, 
it's hard. Like, when I feel really panicky like this, the first thing that pops into my mind is suicide. And that's nothing, I don't believe in suicide. I don't want to commit suicide. But the thought in my head is I'm going to go crazy and I'm going to do it to myself without even knowing it. Which is really weird, but, you know, crazier things have happened in the world. But I hate feeling like this. I hate feeling like my whole body is tense because I'm afraid and there's nothing I can do. Yeah, I could take medicine, but medicine's not going to stop it. Medicine will help me be able to deal with it, but it won't make it go away. And I'm a person, I, 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 ran, sorry, the, I ran out of memory on my phone, but, um, I had to put it on, put the clips on the computer, but what I was saying was, um, before all this happened, I never really thought about death, never worried about dying. Um, like sometimes when I would go to sleep, I would, I would, you know, my eyes would be closed and I would just start thinking about like the world and like, um, being in like space and seeing the world spin and, um, And me flowing out in space and trying to get back on the earth, but I can't. But I can see everything that's going on. I can see lives being lived and, you know, all that. And to me, that's death. And that always scared me. Um, but I never, I didn't think about it all that much. And it never caused me to have anxiety or anything like that. Um, sorry if the camera's shaky. But, um... I don't know why I feel like this today. I, I have no clue. Nothing's happened um, recently that would cause this to happen. Um, just ever since I woke up, I haven't really been, I felt kind of off. And I felt kind of off for the past couple days. <coughs> um, but uh, maybe it's because my stomach has been upset since I woke up this morning. And... A big trigger for me is an upset stomach. I have no clue. Well, I kind of have a clue why. Um, if you watched my anxiety video um, that I did. I'm going to set you guys down. Um, that I did a while ago. It might have been a year ago or so. Um, it talks about how my anxiety started with my gallbladder and stuff like that. And when everything was going on with my gallbladder, I was nauseous. Every time I'd eat, I'd want to throw up. And I am a person who hates to throw up. And, um, uh, so yeah. And so I was nauseous a lot. And that kind of is a trigger for me because of the fact that I was nauseous during that. And during that time, I felt like I was going to die before the doctors figured out what was wrong with me. Um, because you know, irrational mind or whatever. But, um, so that could be what brought it on today. I don't even know. Like, I, I just, I really don't know. But I just, I hate, I hate it. Like, I'm, like, shaking. Like, I can barely hold still. My legs feel weak. And that's what I hate about panic attacks. The fact that you, after you've had one or after you've, um, had a, a not not even an episode, just a day where you've felt anxious all day long. You are completely and utterly wiped out afterwards. Like for days, you just you're just so tired. And I feel like I haven't really been, you know, anxious or anything like that. But I've I've been I felt off for a while, and um, so I've I've like. I've like succumbed to it like a depressive state. Um, if you've noticed, if you if you are from my beauty channel, you noticed I haven't been putting out videos, and I got a new computer, so that's not the problem. I just 
I can't get out of this like depressive rut or whatever it is and I don't know maybe it's because I'm alone a lot um, and I just I have nobody to talk to I barely see my mom because she's working um, like I've seen her once in the past two months and my niece moved to Texas in July so I've just I've basically been alone my husband's at work all day my brother's at work all day um, and my husband is working a second job uh, he was working for Domino's he left Domino's and now he's getting a job at um, Papa John's so I'm gonna be alone even more I just want it to stop. I just, I want it to stop. And I have no way of getting to therapy if, even if I wanted to go. I have no way of going there. My husband works, my mom works, my brother works. There's, I have no way of getting there. But anyways, I just wanted to vlog. And just kind of explain to people who don't have panic attacks and don't know what it feels like to feel like you're out of control of your own mind and of your own body. You just, you have no control over anything. So, um, you know, I just wanted to let those people know exactly what it feels like as I'm in the moment, as I'm feeling these things, because it's way easier to describe when you're actually in that moment than later um, but if you have if you suffer from panic attacks or um, anxiety um, a couple things I do to uh, ease it up or to kind of make it go away is I find something to watch on TV something to take my mind away from thinking about it um, and it's got to be something really good that, that will draw you in um, or I play like a complicated game on my phone, something that, that will draw me in long enough for my body to calm down and go back to a normal level. But, um, that, that's, that's what I do. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I have to wait it out. Sometimes I will try to go to sleep, um, to make it stop. And then when I wake up, it's, you know, it's gone for the time being anyways but um yeah so there you go that's what I do when I have one and I just kind of sort of had one it was more of a long stretch not an actual attack it was a stretch of feeling and I still kind of have it but it's starting to slowly go away um but at this point I'm I'm shaking my legs I can feel them like I'm sitting down but they're still shaking so I would not wish panic attacks on my my worst enemy my worst enemy I would never never wish this upon them it is horrible it is it makes you not want to live anymore and that's that's the sad part is it makes you not want to live but I'm determined to live and I'm determined to beat this somehow and I'm I'm just hoping it happens sooner rather than later because I want to have kids and I I don't feel like I would be a good mom right now because I can't I can't hold my stuff together so, anyways, I will check in with you guys later. Um, hopefully, I can get this to completely dissolve and go away. So, anyways, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey, you guys. So, I just want to do a quick update. Um, I'm doing a lot better now. The panic and anxiety have subsided for now. Um... I'm editing the vlog. It is now 3 28 
so it's going to be a little bit later today. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. Um, and the vlog will be late because of my panickiness. Except really, I haven't even set a time to upload it. Like, I haven't said, oh, it'll be up at this time. So, just know, for now, um, it'll be up every day. But I don't know at what point in time. Um, it is almost a 30-minute vlog. So, uh, I probably will eventually learn how to, or not learn how to, but um, just learn more about what I should cut out. Um, yeah. So, also, if any of you guys uh, are really good at, like, computer stuff, I need to plug you guys in before this dies. Um, but, if any of you are really good at, like, computer stuff, uh, and you guys want to make a channel art for us, please do so and send it to me on our Facebook page, um, and I will... Or uh, send me a link on Facebook to where the channel art, where I can get the channel art from. And I will definitely start using them on the channel. The channel art is that top art at the very top. Um, when you click on our page um, and you see our little ID picture, it's that bar picture right there. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to make this one, you feel more than welcome to do that. You're more than welcome to make us intros or um, even I'm starting in this this vlog, that not this one right now, but yesterday's vlog. Um, I'm starting to put an end slate on so you guys don't have to like, you know, go searching for the next video. It'll just um, be there. So it'll have one where it says yesterday's vlog and, and tomorrow's vlog and yeah. So, <sighs> anyways, um, so yeah, I'm going to watch, what was I watching? Uh -huh. I'm going to go watch Toy Story. That's what I was watching. See? So, I'm going to go watch that and just relax and... I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so I fell asleep um, at like 4.30 and I guess I was super duper tired after the whole anxiety and panic. So I did not wake up until the hubby woke me up at like, what was it, 10.30? Yep. Somewhere around there. And um, of course I had not got the vlog up yet. So um, I was in the process of editing it or rendering it and uh yeah so it is now 11:46, and it is uploading it's not going to be up before midnight obviously um but it's uploading it's got 32 minutes um so sorry you guys it's late but you know can't help it I do go to sleep on time, you tired? What are you doing? Come on, sure. There's a kid over in that house. Why you fall asleep? Now let's get you out of this thing. I don't know why I fell asleep. I go to sleep earlier than you do. Come on, Buzz, we can do it. No, I wake up before you do too. Anyway, so that is what's going on. Um this is the end of the vlog for tonight. Uh because not a whole lot will be going on after this. If I don't go to sleep, uh, the hubby will be going to sleep. And I don't really want to be vlogging while he's sleeping. So, um, anyways, we will see you guys tomorrow. Love you.